Can scapular pain come from the neck? Cervical spine and shoulder problems overlap. The patient will come to the doctor with unilateral arm pain that is relieved by arm elevation. The numbness and paresthesia will occur in a specific dermatomes. Patient may also have upper trabezius pain or interscapular pain. In this diagram to the right shows the area of referred pain to the back of the neck and the upper shoulder area. This is the area of interscapular pain. The muscles and nerves that arise from the neck area will pass through and around the shoulder on their way down the arm, and the pain may radiate down to the shoulder or to the scapula. The pain is usually at the superior medial aspect of the scapula. This is an example of the most common area of referred pain from neck pathology and disc herniation. The pain originating from the neck region may overlap the shoulder. Usually, pain in the neck is felt on top of the shoulder over the area of the trabezius muscle. Pain from the shoulder itself is usually felt at the top of the arm. The shoulder moves freely without pain, then the neck is the source of the pain. How about the shoulder abduction test? The shoulder abduction test is different. The patient's symptoms are relieved by shoulder abduction by placing the hand over the head. This test helps to differentiate between cervical spine pathology and other causes of shoulder pain. It is an important test for cervical radicular compressive disease. The relief of the symptoms occurs due to decreased tension on the nerve roots. If there is a relief of symptoms by shoulder abduction, then the cause of shoulder pain is not a shoulder pathology, but it is pain that is probably coming from the cervical nerve root pathology due to nerve irritation. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.